In today's video, we'll talk about Linux users and groups. Well, user is like an owner of a file, folder, or a user can be defined as an account. For example, by default, we have two users in our Linux system, root and Zubair. At the moment, I'm working as Zubair. So all of the users have different types of permission. Like if I want to install something in the system, only sudo user can install that. Or if I want to open a file or create a file, simple user can do such task very easily and it does not need any permissions. Now if I talk about the groups, it's very simple. Group is just a method to organize users on the system. For example, I can have a group of users with sudo privileges and one more group with only needed permission. Now I'll show you that how you can create different users. So I will just write here sudo user add space name of the user that you want to create. I want to create user A, hit enter and we have successfully created our user A. Now to check if this user have been created or not, we have a command. We will write here cat space backslash etc backslash pa double s w d well basically it's a file and in linux we have information of everything in files so if i just hit enter here you can see we have successfully created a user with the name of user a so as we have created the user now we want to have a password for that user as well so i will just write here sudo password which is pa double s w d after that name of the user for whom you want to create password which is obviously user a in my case and now i will just write his password i will retype his password and it says password updated successfully so this is how you can create different users now i'll show you that how you can create different groups the command for that is sudo group add after that write the name of the group that you want to create i will write here alpha hit enter so now let's check if we have created this group or not. Again, I will write here cat backslash etc backslash. This time we have a file with the name of group. If I hit enter, so here we have a group with the name of alpha and it confirms that we have successfully created this one. So we are done with creating our users and group. Now let's add users to particular group. So first of all, we will clear our terminal and now we will write here sudo user mod. After that, I will write here dash A capital G. A stands for append and G stands for group. After that, write the name of your group, which is alpha in my case. And after that, write the name of the user that you want to add to your alpha group. Hit enter. Now let's check if user have been added in a group or not. For that purpose, I will just write here cat backslash etc backslash group hit enter. So here you can see in our alpha group, we have a user with the name of user A. So this is how you can add different people or different user into your groups. Now let's change the name of the group. For that, we have a command and the command is group mod space hyphen n which means new and after that write the name that you want to give to your group i will write here beta and after that space and after space give the old name that you had earlier and that was alpha hit enter and it says permission denied because we have to use sudo along with it so i will just write here sudo space hit enter and we have successfully renamed our group so if i go back here you can see now it says beta Earlier it was saying alpha. Now let's delete a particular group. As we only have one group in here, so let's delete this one. The command for that is group del space name of the group that you want to delete. I want to delete beta, hit enter, and it says permission denied because again it is a pseudo privileged word. And now let's see if this group has been deleted or not. As you can see here, we do not have any group with the name of beta in here. It means we have successfully deleted a group in here. So these were some of the commands and things we can do with our groups and users. And we can do a lot of other stuff like how to give and assign different permissions to our files and groups. 
but we will talk about that in another video. With that, we are done with this one. I'll see you in the next one.